All right, here's episode one of my day in the life. Today I'm decorating my brand new hanger and I'm super excited and uh, just give you a little peek on what my you know everyday routine looks like. I'm also a flight instructor, so I'm doing a sunset flight in a Cessna 150 uh, just after this. I'm excited to show you guys all what my day looks like and my new hanger. And here's my breakfast. If you know me, you know I love having eggs in the morning. And it's not, it's kind of missing today, but I usually have like arugula underneath the eggs and that's kind of a nice, healthy, hearty start for my morning. Always turn the fire on in the morning. And the dogs love laying on the top of the couch. So I always give them a little pet as they go by. And Kai here, which is my dog, he's very cuddly lately. I think it's because it's so cold, as he avoids my hand. <laughs> and we've got Judy. Hey, Juju. And this guy is not camera shy at all, but now neither is he since I'm giving his brother attention. You guys. Okay, so what I usually do is go for runs by myself and then I take them for a walk after I do my computer work. <laughs> but they are very, very excited this morning. Yes. Hello. Oh, hi. I know. I just finished my second run since I broke my foot. I'm kind of easing back into running and um, not gonna lie, my pace was like 15 minutes a mile, but you know, progress is progress. Also for my runs, I actually really like to listen to audiobooks. So today I was listening to Crescent City by Sarah J Mass. It's been all over the internet. So if you've heard of it, I'm not surprised. Um, I actually really, really like this author. I read Throne of Glass as well as Akotar. So if you're interested in a good audiobook while you're working out, that is a good one. And now I'm going to go back in, take a little shower, rinse off, get ready to go for the day. Let's go. Does anyone else actually hate like squeegee? Like, I don't know why, it always really bothers me that I have to squeegee at the end of a shower. And I do love the, like, look of this kind of shower, but just, there's so much work. The moment you guys have all been waiting for, I'm gonna do my little um, getting ready routine. I'm actually going to show you guys products I use every day to go flying. What I've loved is actually the Origins SPF uh, 40 and it's energy boosting kind of radiant. <laughs> All right, next up is my hair. You can see it's just in a nice little clip. 
they like to use just this pack I found on Amazon. It's actually, it's like five bucks and you can do a bunch of just like really natural shaded clips and I use them all the time. Then you'll see me go for more of the curly look, but today I'm just gonna leave it all natural. I bought this jacket from O'Neal on Amazon. Honestly, I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon. It's just so easy. I just have a little gray crop underneath and some like $10 pair of leggings that are like super soft. And yeah, I got a, I got my car her beanie. Uh, you will see me in this beanie all the time. I absolutely love this beanie. Are you guys ready? <laughs> and that is our finished look. Welcome to my new hanger. I'm very excited to be here. Um, as you can see, I already put a couch in here and quite a few other things, coffee table. I'm just kind of getting around to decorating it now. While well, a lot of you guys have asked why I have not been active the last few months, um, I actually broke my foot about three months ago in a bad car accident and needed some time to, you know, recover and get some things together and as you can see I use the time productively. I've been looking for an airplane. This is a dream of mine that I've had since I was a student pilot and I did find this hangar here in Minden. I actually found this hangar by you know reaching out to Carson City, Reno, Reno Stead, and Minden and you know there was probably like 80 people on the wait list so that was you know not gonna happen anytime soon so i started digging around for maybe some kind of investment there are options where you can purchase a hanger uh, usually contractors will come in build hangers and sell them privately and i actually reached out to a representative of them and he basically said like oh yeah no we have a couple for sale but we actually have a guy who bought one and didn't have a plane yet and then for whatever reason just decided he wasn't going to buy a plane right away so he had it up for rent and I ended up being able to grab it <laughs> so very very happy I um originally I mean I was just going to buy a bunch of covers which you know isn't ideal but um I live out here in Nevada northern Nevada it's nothing like Florida where I used to live uh there is like quite a you know, quite good UV rays during the summer and in the sun, but you know, if you can get some good covers, usually you're okay. Uh, but I didn't have to do that. I did get a hanger and I'm very happy as you can hear <laughs> the airport noise. And the next question I'm sure you guys are thinking about is which airplane am I getting? You see me fly diamonds all the time. I absolutely love diamonds, but I actually went for something a little more vintage. Uh, I was a little more in my price range. I don't, can't quite afford a diamond yet, but um, it's gonna be a little more vintage. It's going to be something I can travel to see my friends with. And I already have lots of ideas for the trips I wanna do. Um, yeah, I can't really say more than that now without spoiling it, but I'm definitely gonna do a debut video and talk all about the plane. And I'm also going to do a video on how the process went with buying an aircraft because actually it's pretty intricate. It was a pretty long process. It took me about three or four months to find B1. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. But for now, off to my flight lesson.
sister um, of course parked the truck right in front of my spot so uh, yeah here, here she comes in her, in her little slippers <laughs> thank you Kelsey thanks for moving the truck Does anyone else just immediately change into their PJs when they get home? Because I sure do.